Hi, my name is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about just how important getting the torques on these bolts correct when assembling engines. Um, this particular engine is a remanufactured engine that was in a truck that failed prematurely uh, because the uh, connecting rod bolts were torqued incorrectly and caused a catastrophic failure. Um, every one of my mechanics gets grilled pretty hard on torque specs and uh, every one of the torque specs that are for these engines are posted on the wall next to their workstation so that they do it correctly every single time um, and they have no excuse but to do it correctly. It's probably the single most important thing, especially these modern engines uh, that uh, are built to such tight tolerance. Everything has to be torqued correctly or we'll have this type of failure. This was a remanufactured engine by a fairly reputable rebuilder here. Um, you can see that the uh, you can see right here that the cap on the uh, number six connecting rod um, had come loose here um, that literally snapped the bolts the bolt literally snapped the bolts off. So when we took a torque wrench uh, you know standard torque wrench and we uh, checked these bolts you know, these are supposed to be uh, torqued to 50 foot-pounds here, uh, and when we checked it, we, what we'll do is we'll take this and turn it up to 60 or 70 or, you know, 80 or 100 and see if the, if the actual, and see if the actual bolt will turn at a higher torque. If it turns at a higher torque, then you know that it was torqued to less than that. Um, we turned this torque wrench all the way up to 100 and still couldn't get these bolts to budge. Now. The reason why this happened is because of the procedures in which they use to build these engines. Um, they use what's called a DC machine. I forget what DC stands for, direct current, I believe. I'm not sure. But, but basically, it takes, that, it takes the, every one of these fasteners and turns them a specific number of turns. It's actually more accurate than torque in some ways, unless the engine's hand-built. But, but each one of the fasteners has turned a... Uh, a certain number of turns, and I think that what happened is, is this, this that the the builder had already tightened down these these rod bolts, and then went to lunch or something, or was distracted, and then turned them again, because these things are well over a hundred foot pounds of torque on these on every one of these fasteners. Now, you know, this is something that's really on Jasper. Uh, they they uh, should make it right with a customer. You know, I'm not part of that conversation. Uh, I'm just the guy who who repaired it. Evidently, he'd been back and forth with them and. You know, they said they always tune the truck and this and that, but it's pretty obvious that these bolts were, were torqued incorrectly. Uh, and, and, you know, whatever the man works out with them on their warranty, that's between him and them. That really doesn't involve me. I'm just here to solve the problem on the back end. But, you know, he's pretty sick that he had, bu had put this motor together and only a, a few months later the thing had failed. Um, and unfortunately, there's nothing left in this motor that's, that's usable. The crank is trashed. The one connecting rod is trashed. I wouldn't trust the other seven connecting rods. Uh, it, you know, it came out and damaged the block over here, so the, the block is ruined. Um, you know, and I'm not one to reuse pistons, but you know, it, it's trash, trash the motor. I mean, the heads are still good, but they're not O-ring. They're going to have to go get rebuilt. They're not any good to me. So, I mean, the motor's the motor's trashed uh, because of a very, very simple thing in the procedures of building the engine of not torquing the fasteners correctly torque the fasteners correctly and these engines will live a very very long time but I've seen this many many times uh, people just not paying attention to the very very basic details of engine building and you know if you don't know what you're doing this is not the place to learn these are not the engines to learn on uh, because the parts are so expensive everything's so and so difficult uh, that you will pay to learn these procedures um, of course a reputable engine builder has no excuse except to make it right with a customer.